The odds against it are about a thousand to one. Nevertheless, there's a possible eyewitness account of just such an event. It was the Sunday before the feast of St. John the Baptist in the summer of 1178. The monks of Canterbury Cathedral had just completed their evening prayers and were about to retire for the night. In the midst of their recreation, they chanced to witness an astonishing sight, a violent explosion on the moon. This was a time when the heavens were thought to be changeless. This is his account of the eyewitness testimony he was given. Now there was a bright new moon, and as usual in that phase, its horns were tilted toward the east. And suddenly, the upper horn split in two. From the midpoint of this division, a flaming torch sprang up, spewing out over a considerable distance, fire, hot coals, and sparks. He later wrote, the present writer was given this report by men who saw it with their own eyes, and are prepared to stake their honor on an oath that they have made no addition or falsification. Gervais committed the account to paper, enabling astronomers eight centuries later to try and reconstruct what really happened. So is the moon still quivering from that impact? Reflectors made by French scientists were also put on the moon by the Soviet Lunakhod vehicles. The moon, it turns out, is gently swinging like a bell, just as if it had been hit by an asteroid less than a thousand years ago. So there may be physical evidence in the age of spaceflight for the account of the Canterbury monks in the 12th century. And there is a recent ray crater called Giordano Bruno in exactly the region of the moon where an explosion was reported in 1178. 